Hey everyone, this is Amterx. Today we're going to do a, a PDK calibration. Um, thanks to one of uh, my viewers, Michael Yoshisawa. Uh, he uh, <clears throat> made a comment about uh, performing a calibration. And uh, I, I told him that I would uh, do a little bit more research about that. And uh, the truth is that I needed to do a calibration after the, the fluid change, and I did it, right? So uh, we continue to learn the process. It's just all learning uh, how to take care of, uh, of the Porsche Macan. So uh, uh, great comments, keep them coming. Uh, I learned a lot from you, and uh, hopefully you learn a little bit from my adventures as well. So um, with that said, I did a little bit more research and I asked my my good friend Bill from Garage Auto Sports. Uh, he owns uh, an indie, uh, very reputable indie shop in Toronto. And uh, he uh, recommended that, or he said that he usually does a, a, a bite, a clutch bite calibration. Uh, or at least the full calibration uh, of the P uh, PDK clutch uh, every time he changes the, the oil of, of their cars um, every 40,000 to 60, uh, every 40,000 miles, which is 60,000 kilometers for them. So uh, uh, that's very good information to have. Uh, uh, he said that at least the, the the clutch bite calibration should be done is a must, but uh, today we're going to do the full uh, recalibration of the PDK because I didn't do that when I changed my uh, PDK fluid. So with that, uh, let's do it. Start by connecting the PeeWee's BAS6154 module to the OVD2 port of the Macan. And turn ignition on. have your charger when you are coding or doing any maintenance activity uh, in your car that requires the car to be off while the operation has been done by PeeWees. Open the PeeWees diagnostic tool. Select diagnostics version 38.250. It should recognize your Porsche automatically. Faults. So after pressing F12 here, uh, we're gonna go without valve because we already created one. But if you don't have a valve log, you need to create one.
Let's keep this campaign. And now we're going to go into fault memory. There's no fault uh, in the PDK. This is important to check and clear any faults if there's any, because uh, you will not be able to re uh, recalibrate the PDK. Go to maintenance and repairs. From there, you go to calibrate. F12. Again, we've already created the valve, so we're going to go directly to perform calibration. Now, there are four options there. Uh, option one, three, and four, they are individual calibration processes. Uh, usually, when after you replace the, the fluid, you want to perform the, the fourth one which is the calibration after replacement of the mechanical transmission component PDK. But uh, since I'm going to do everything, I want to do everything, because uh, my mechanic is 125,000 miles, I want to make sure that uh, uh, my PDK relearns everything again, my new uh, driving habits, and uh, it, it self exhaust for any wear condition that may have happened there. Uh, I'm going to perform the full calibration as if I replace the uh, mechatronic components. Uh, so the second option is a combination of the, the first, third and fourth option there. So by performing that second calibration, you, you will be performing all these three uh, in the same process, right? So I'm going to only perform that one. As you can see, uh, it says there, during calibration after replacement of the mechatronic component, the following actions are performed. The learning values of the transmission range sensor are retaught. The respective end positions of the gear actuators are compared using sensor calibration and the learning values of clutch adaptation are subsequently reset and the clutch pressure is taught. So these are the three other options combined here, right? So let's go into this process. So the, in the first step, it's important to know that uh, the calibration process is gonna ask you to, to move the gear uh, from park to neutral and then to drive so you uh, you should press the brake pedal when you're moving the the gear from from park to neutral and then release the brake and move from neutral to drive uh, and then without pressing the brake it's going to ask you to go back to neutral and then complete the calibration process at that point. So let's start. All right, conditions are met. So now I'm here, you'll see that this changed to brake. You press the brake, then move to neutral, and then release the brake and move to drive. And this is gonna change to neutral again. You move then to neutral. You heard that noise? So that means that most likely this is finished. Now it's asking me to move this to parking. All right, so now we're going to calibrate the distance sensors. 
you will hear a lot of noise in the PD cable, that's normal. Alright, this was completed. Alright, so this is now the adaptation for the clutch friction points. It's the clutch bite. Uh, the learning values of the closure adaptations are reset and the closure pressure required to close the closure off so that it just begins to transfer torque hard thought. So let's start this. It will require the engine to be on again. is complete. You can disconnect PWIS. I have to say that after a few drives, the PDK shifting feels a bit more smooth and compliant, but not quite the difference I was expecting. Nevertheless, it is required maintenance to extend the life of the PDK.